Hey guys, Tina here. Today I'm going to talk to you about two books from the Off Campus series by L. Kennedy. So uh, this is a four book series and I only read two books so far out of, you know, the four. Uh, but this is a new adult series, so, you know, expect a lot of sexual content in it. Uh, you know, just be warned of that before you pick these books up. So the deal is the story of Hannah, who is an arts major at college. She uh, has issues with boys and the reason for that is that a few years back she was raped and now she is really uh, not trusting them and she's finding a hard time being attracted to guys and now she finally you know saw someone that is really attractive and she's really into him but she's having a hard time um, approaching him and uh, that's when Garrett uh, comes into play now he's uh, one of the hockey stars of the college and uh, he's really popular and he has, you know, he doesn't have problem attractive, attracting people or, you know, approaching people, but he's having a hard time uh, with his philosophy class and, um, you know, he wants to keep his grades up or he won't be able to play. So he approaches Hannah and asks her to basically tutor him and she's really reluctant to do that, um, but eventually he wears her down and they come to, under, to an understanding, um, so basically she will tutor him and he will uh, help her get, uh, you know, over this um, obstacle in her course. So the next book out of the series that I read is called The Score and it's actually book three in the series. Now I'm not entirely sure that is the best way to read them out of order because I think I, you know, was potentially spoiled for a few things. But I, actually, for once, I do not care because this is not like one of those series that it's really important to, to not know things, I think. But yeah, just be aware of that, you know, when you pick them up that you might want to decide that. Anyways, the score is a story of Allie who has a bit of a crisis. Now, uh, firstly, she's not entirely sure what to do after college. There, She has a few options, but she's not entirely sure which way to go. But more importantly and more urgently, momentarily, is the fact that she has broken up with her long-term boyfriends. They have had a rocky relationship. They would, you know, get together and break up and get together and break up. And now she's determined to you know, be broken up with him and, uh, you know, she, but he's still tempting and he's calling a lot and texting and, uh, you know, he wants to talk. So she actually decides to spend uh, a weekend uh, off campus uh, where her best friend's boyfriend actually lives with some of his uh, teammates and uh, that's what she does. And, you know, there's Dean and he lives there in that house and he's a ladies man and he sort of has lived a very charmed life basically whatever he wants he gets he's well he's wealthy but aside from that he has really this positive attitude about life you know just to enjoy it and uh, he, ah, he's born under lucky stars something like that and he's uh, really yeah, enjoyable and yes he's a ladies man and he usually just you know sleeps with a girl and then basically forgets her he doesn't want to date or anything like that and he's really pushy <laughs> but not you know in a, a non-consensual type of way but he's really you know when he wants something he he goes for it and he doesn't let up you know until he gets what he wants basically and uh, they get drunk and they have sex that's the beginning of the book and after that he cannot get her out of his mind and uh, he actually has to do a lot of work before uh, things potentially start happening between them. So I'm not gonna go deeper into these stories because you know what, you should totally read them. It's been such a long time since I enjoyed new adult books as much as I enjoyed these two. I love these characters, there, were, there was so much joy to read about. I, you know, actually I could connect with them really well. Uh, you know, each had an issue that I could really relate to and I really love that. Um, the sex was great, the story was great, the dialogue was great. I really, uh, you know, I don't really respect new adult, you know, as you might know if you watch some of my past videos, but I really enjoy these books and I, I really recommend them. They're, they were really, they just made my day because right now in a, I'm in a reading slump and I, those were really helpful and uh, I will definitely be picking more books up by Elle Kennedy, that's what I'll tell you for sure. That's basically all I wanted to tell you uh, about these books and I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in my next one, bye.